All right, so today what I wanted to do was take a look at the remakes as a whole and kind of talk about, you know, where they are at the moment, you know, what they're doing and why there are so many, as well as maybe if we have too many. Um, it is a very controversial topic. People really like the remakes. I am definitely one of those people. I think they're all pretty good. Um, and, there's pro and with Resident Evil 4 on the way, I have no doubt that that game will be good too. But after that, you've got to think, you know, is that enough? Like, do we need any more remakes after the fall? Uh, but anyway, let's get into it, talk about the remakes, and see what everyone thinks. So we'll start with the original remake, okay? Remake. Resident Evil 1 Remake. I don't have any footage of that game at the moment, so I apologise for that. But Resident Evil Remake is perfect. Like, it, it is really, really good. It still holds up even now. It's got that original feel with the old camera angles. Um, the mansion is still basically the same. They added more to it, obviously changed puzzles and stuff. But it still feels like Resident Evil 1. Having played the director's cut version of Resident Evil 1 literally a few days ago for the first time, the remake and that are still so close to being the same, but different enough to be considered a remake, and it feels really, really good to play. Resident Evil 2 remake, albeit one of my probably one of my favourites in the series, Resident Evil 2 is just an incredible game, whether that's original or remake. It, again, it's a solid remake. There are things they did differently that people don't like, more exclusively the B scenarios and how they are very very different compared to what they were like in the original game but other than that really the game's solid like it's really good it looks incredible plays incredible third person perspective works really really well in this game it's genuinely scary the first few times you play it through because you don't know what's coming Mr. X is an incredible threat again for the first few runs and the game feels really good Claire, Leon both being in it they look incredible they're acted incredibly well and I don't really have a flaw with it other than the whole B scenario sections being completely different. Moving over to the Resident Evil 3 remake, this is where the diversity between people really comes into kind of front and centre retention really. Like, is it good? Is it fun? It is fun. It is good. It's very, very, very short. It's like a four hour game if you're kind of playing at a steady pace and exploring everything. You're still four to five hours, you've probably cleared it. There's a lot missing from the original game in this version, for some reason. I obviously know the reasons why, it's because it was kind of like outsourced to a different studio and Capcom really weren't really working on it, they kind of just kind of oversaw its development. Um, and they did, they did cut a lot of corners with it, a lot of stuff is different, uh, Nemesis included is quite different throughout the game. Um, and is it fun? Yes. Is it really Resident Evil 3? A lot of people would say no, because it's missing so much, it feels like a different game. Um, but it's still a fun game to play, it's still entertaining, it's still quite replayable, not to the extent of Resident Evil 2 or Remake, but still. It is there, it is fun, and it's Jill Valentine, like, who, who's going to complain? I think the Jill in this game is probably my favourite version of Jill, in general, anyway. And then, of course, after that, we've got March next year, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now, again, I basically say this in every video where I talk about Resident Evil 4, but this is the big one, okay? Whether you like Resident Evil 4 or you don't, this is a big one. This game is very, very popular, not just with the Resident Evil fans, but everyone knows what Resident Evil 4 is, okay? Everyone's heard of Resident Evil 4, they know of the impact it had on games as a whole. It's a big deal, and I think this one will have a lot more eyes on it than the others because of how popular it actually is. I'm sure people that don't really play Resident Evil will be definitely picking up Resident Evil 4 Remake because they played it when they were younger and experienced it because everyone was talking about it when it came out. There is already concern off of the back of Resident Evil 3, um, which I do kind of want to clarify on um, briefly now, is that Capcom are heading the development of Resident Evil 4 Remake. They're not outsourcing it to a different studio. This is in-house, it's being made by them. And I think they're aware of the stakes for this one. They know how popular the game is and still is, and they want to give you a fresh version of what you already like. Now me personally, I'm really looking forward to it. I think the whole, again, I've mentioned it a million times already, but I think the whole tone shift is really, really good. Um, the new serious version of the game is going to be pretty cool to play. More scary, apparently, as well. Can't wait to see what they do with that. And I'm really looking forward to it. Again, there is the controversy around it being completely different and it not being as good. To that, I always say, if you don't like the remake, the original still exists. You know, like, you don't. Just because there's a remake now doesn't mean the original is cancelled out. If you like the original more, you can still play the original. You now have the choice to play one game or the other. So, I'm fine with it, but obviously other people feel differently. But I'm really looking forward to this game. 
But speaking about remakes in general now, like, okay, so we've got four remakes, okay? Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, and 4. Is that enough? I would probably say yes, it is enough. I don't think Resident Evil 5 and 6 need remakes. I don't think they will do it. If they do, I'll be very, very, very surprised because they still play quite well. At the very least, maybe 5 will get a remake because it plays a lot like Resident Evil 4 does. Um, what would be really cool about 5 is if they made it a solo game. It is more likely that it will stay co-op and I think that will be really, really cool. I literally not long ago recently finished playing through Resident Evil 5 again with a friend who played it for the first time. It was an absolute blast. The game is really fun in co-op, so if they do remake Resident Evil 5, I would say keep the co-op, but there is a possibility that it will be a solo game. Resident Evil 6, don't even know. Don't even know what to tell you about that one. If they do, I'll be very, very shocked. But yeah, with, with the remakes, I think with Resident Evil 4, um, I think maybe they should stop after that, personally, or at least take a big break from them. There is one game that probably needs it to happen more than any others after 4, even 4 is a bit of a debate on whether it needs one. I have a video coming out this week talking about that specifically. But in terms of a game that really does need a remake and would benefit very much so from it, it is Code Veronica. Now, I'm not a personal fan of Code Veronica. I don't really like the game. Not because of how old it is and how it plays, but I just don't enjoy the game. I don't think it's particularly good, personally. The only saving grace from it is Claire. That's it. Because I think the rest of it's just stupid. Anyway. Would I play a remake of Code Veronica? Absolutely. Would they change the tone? Probably. I just have so many personal issues with Code Veronica that I just don't enjoy playing the game. So if they were to remake it, which they probably will, I think there's been such an uproar and people wanting it to be remade that they'd be kind of stupid not to at this point. But, um... Yeah, I think... Resident Evil 4, I think there's probably going to be a break anyway after Resident Evil 4 remake is out, with Resident Evil 9 being probably the next project after that. But I can see a Code Veronica remake maybe coming into play. I'll be very, very surprised, like I mentioned, if Resident Evil 5 gets a remake announcement before Code Veronica does. Because, again, while Resident Evil 5 does play like Resident Evil 4, Code Veronica probably needs it more. But yeah, I would say, I think we have enough remakes for now. I think they're pretty safe to take a break after Resident Evil 4 does release. In terms of there being remakes anyway, I think it's definitely a good thing. Um, there's so many new players in Resident Evil nowadays, mainly because of 7 and 8, because those games were such massive sellers for Capcom. But people really didn't experience the older games, and if they did go back to play the older games before they were remade, it would be very difficult for a newer audience, a younger audience, to get into those games because of how they play. So remaking them for more modern players, more modern technology, is a really good idea. It is really good. And, you know, I, I, I would hope that they would make more remakes, but maybe not as consistently, you know what I mean? I think the space between 2, 3, and 4 remakes is quite small. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but they do seem to push them out quite quickly. Well, quickly as you can do for a, a solid game. But maybe, yeah, with Resident Evil 9 being most likely the next release after 4 remake, um, that gives them an opportunity to take a break from remakes, let 4 sink in. People are going to be loving that, people are going to be eating that up for a while. And I think that gives them some opportunity to take a step back from remakes, focus on 9, and then when 9 is said and done and any DLC plans or anything like that for 9 are released, if they have any, then you can jump back to remakes. And I think, personally, Code Veronica should be next, as much as I don't like the game. The one thing I always say about the remakes though, especially after the kind of backlash of Resident Evil 3, um, please do it properly. You know, I think Resident Evil 4 is in good hands. I think I can kind of say that quite confidently that they know what they're doing it will be different i'm not going to say it's going to be exactly the same game it isn't you can tell from the trailer it is not the same game that you've played before but i can probably safely say that it will be a solid remake it'll be good it'll be fun it'll be scary and you know as long as they don't cut too many corners there is a concern going around with what's going to be cut or what's going to be changed from the original due to the original kind of being over the top in some fashion sometimes but I think they'll keep most of it intact, I think that's probably the best thing to do, especially, again, after the reception of 3 and the B scenarios from the 2 remake. So, I, I think the game's in good hands. But as always, let me know what you guys think. Do you think there's too many remakes and they should stop them now after 4 is out? Do you think they should keep doing more and remake Code Veronica, Outbreak, all of those older games as well? Um, I will be going in depth with Resident Evil 4 and the idea behind it really needing a remake in a video later on this week. Um, so make sure to look forward to that. But with all that being said, that's basically it. Again, leave your thoughts on remakes in general down in the comments below. I'll be really interested to see what you guys think of the remakes as a whole. 
Thank you all for coming by and watching. Remember to subscribe for more Resident Evil content. And I'll catch you all in the next one.